Hi, my name is Joe Huang. I'm product manager here at Oracle. Uh, here with me is Dennis Trail, who is a senior director of engineering at Oracle as well, uh, in charge of mobile application platform development. Uh, so what we want to talk about today is a new product offering that we are introducing at Oracle for developing mobile applications. So mobile technology is pretty much the hottest technology around with constant innovation coming from the likes of Blackberry, iPhone, Symbian, and Android. And uh, each one of them presents a great deal of challenge for enterprise developers who have to develop usable, optimized application for enterprise users. So to help enterprise developers to do that, here at Oracle, we're adding mobile platform support to JDeveloper and application development framework. So um, Dennis, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the ADF mobile platform that we're introducing today? Thanks, Joe. Um, the ADF mobile platform really comprises of two platforms, and, and our main goal is to allow developers to develop an application once and deploy it to any platform. So the first platform is the ADF mobile browser, um, which lets you develop browser-based clients using Java Server Faces standard technology and deploy to any mobile browser. And the second one is the ADF mobile client platform, which lets you develop an on-device Java um, application uh, that accesses a local database and uses a sync technology, um, so you have a completely disconnected uh, environment. Great. So I understand that you have a demo prepared for us, so uh, why don't we go take a look? It's a field service scenario, so let's go uh, and take a look. Okay. Right. So we're going to start our scenario with uh, Stephen King. Uh, he's our service manager at Avatech, and uh, he's out at lunch and decides to check on things. Uh, so he pulls out his uh, BlackBerry and decides to log in uh, to the web application. So here we are at our home screen. Uh, I get a list of uh, service requests. Um, here I see I have an unassigned service request that uh, I need to assign to a technician. I can also do searches on service requests, technicians, products, uh, and get some information that way. Also on the home screen, using our data visualization components, we've integrated our, uh, a chart here that shows service requests by product. So we get a quick view of um, which products have the most incidents. We also do a chart of service requests by assignee, so I can see where the service requests are assigned currently and see who's loaded. So now let's go and assign the service request. First I see it's for a dryer, model D003, and it's based in San Francisco. Okay, so now we're going to go and search for, for technicians that are based in San Francisco who can service this um, particular dryer. Okay, so our, our search has brought back two technicians we have that are based in San Francisco, Alex and Bruce. If I scroll down, you'll see we've integrated Google Maps, and I'm showing exactly where Alex and Bruce are right now based on their GPS coordinates. So we see Alex is a little bit closer. Let's go check their expertise and see who's qualified on this dryer. Okay, so here we've integrated another one of our data visualization components, the radar graph. And the way this one works is the further out on the graph you are, uh, the more, um, the higher your rating. So here I can see that um, Alex and Bruce both have uh, the highest rating, an expert rating, uh, on this dryer. So since they're both qualified and Alex is a little closer, let's select Alex. So now by selecting Alex, what our application does on the back end is uh, send a BlackBerry push message directly to Alex's device. Okay, so now let's take the role of Alex. Okay, so here we have Alex's device, and immediately I see uh, I have a new message. Okay, so I have a message from Avatech Central Dispatch. And if I open this up, okay, dryer's not drying clothes. Okay, so that's the description. And the details, I see dryer D003, and I see it's based in San Francisco, and I have the address. Um, we've integrated BlackBerry Maps into this so I can get directions directly from BlackBerry Maps and I see where the location is. 
At Abitech, they standardize on BlackBerrys uh, because of the push technology and also because of BlackBerry's no, uh, new support of SQLite database. And we've taken advantage of that um, with the ADF mobile client framework to produce an on-device application framework that talks directly to a local database. So here we're going to view the service request. What this is doing is kicking off our, our native on-device application written with our ADF mobile client framework. I'll log in as Alex. So the way we've designed this application, when Alex's device received the BlackBerry push message, it automatically synchronized the database for him. Okay, I see that I've just been assigned this new service request, number 114. So let's drill into that and take a look. Okay, so uh, the ADF mobile client framework um, displays native components uh, on the platform. So here we're taking advantage of BlackBerry's native components like the drop-down, the date picker, and its various components like drill, drill downs, uh, and buttons. So now let's assume that uh, Alex is on site and he's ready to do the work. So we're going to drill into this symptom of not drying completely and let's go and see what symptoms, um, sorry, what resolutions are available for that problem. Here I see the, uh, the first resolution for this not drying completely symptom is to check the circuit board. So let's perform the work and let's assume that replacing the surface, the circuit board replaced, fixed the problem. Okay, now I'm just going to finish uh, the work here. I'm not going to go to the next resolution because we'll just assume that uh, replacing the circuit board finished everything. Um, so now I'm actually going to go and close this service request. And we've also integrated with ADF Mobile Client, we've integrated into BlackBerry's menu structure as well. So I could go down and select Save here, but I can also just hit the BlackBerry menu and I see I have a save entry there. So I'm just going to save that service request. So what that's done is updated that service request in my local database and marked it as complete and uh, recorded all the information that, uh, that I put against that. And now it's come off of my, uh, my home screen. So normally we would let BlackBerry, or we would let our synchronization, uh, our background synchronization kick in and synchronize the data back up to the database. But let's just give it a little uh, nudge here and we'll do it manually just to, for the sake of the demo. Okay. So now at some point, at some point in the day, uh, Uh, Steven's going to go back and he wants to check on the on the status of that service request that he assigned to Alex. So we'll do a search. We'll do a search on service request assigned to Alex. So here we see all the service requests assigned to Alex. Okay, I can already see that it's been closed, so let's drill into it and get some details. Okay, so it's been closed. I get all the details of it, and if I scroll down to the bottom, I see he replaced the board, and now it works. So now we've got the full end-to-end. -end. Um, we started from the browser-based application, Stephen assigning a service request. That sent a BlackBerry push message directly to Alex's BlackBerry, which synchronized the database. He worked offline, uh, performed the work, synchronize the data back up to the database, and now uh, Stephen can come in and check the work. That completes our scenario.